What is up guys, Manash here, and in today's video I just wanted to talk about how much of a beast rank 3 6 star Nick Fury is for certain fights in Abyss. So here I'm going up against Abyss Modok, and this is the first fight I'm using Nick Fury for, for the entire fight. And Modok is a typical Science Abyss champ, so... Basically, whenever any of you fill a bar of power, you get a power sting passive on you, which does 600 damage, and if it expires, you get stunned for 5 seconds. But Nick Fury in his second stage is stun immune, so we won't have to worry about that. So the first thing I want to do is just build my tactical charges. So I start off by doing parry medium heavy just to get the internal bleed and also because you can't auto block the heavy. So once I get a bar of power, I throw my special one. And I hit him a few times, evade a few special ones here and there. Okay, throw the second special one, and now I'm completely unblockable. Now I'm pretty much set up for this fight, just trying to maintain my internal bleed. But yeah, look at those numbers right there. So Nick Fury's light ending bleed is doing about 4,800 per tick, which is pretty good, if you ask me. And for this fight, I'm not going to be using special attacks because of the power sting. Nick Fury's health is already pretty low, and so I don't want to take any additional damage when I don't need to. Because you can see just from the light ending bleeds alone, you're doing pretty good damage. So I throw a few heavies here and there, and then some shortened combos just so I can build up the bleeds to get back the internal bleed because that does help to increase the bleed duration. This is the part of the fight that I really like. I love it when you can just be aggressive and just throw these specials left, right and center, you know. It just really helps the tempo of the fight and makes managing it a lot easier. So I am pushing him to special 2 here and there because I do want to keep on being aggressive. But I do find it easier to bait and punish the special 1. And yeah, now being completely unblockable makes Modok a joke. You know, as long as you can evade his specials, there's not much to worry about. This fight is actually going extremely well, like a lot better than I expected. And then unfortunately, at the end I got a little bit carried away and I pushed him to a special 3. So I decided to throw mine. And then he decides to throw his and that's basically the end of me. I actually could have gotten a solo, but unfortunately I was just a bit careless and I just had to take one revive for this one and just finish him off. But yeah, I was just really impressed with Nick Fury's damage output in this fight. 
Hopefully the next time I fight him when I do part 4, I'll be able to solo. But nonetheless, still a pretty impressive performance from Nick Fury, and just shows you the value of rank 3 6 stars. And I am going to be using him for a few more fights on this path, which I'm actually looking forward to. I mean, a maxed 5 star should still do well, although I probably won't be able to solo unless you have some serious boosts or suicides. Although playing Nick Fury in fights like this with suicides is a little bit tricky because your health is going to be pretty low. So it's a little bit risky, but yeah. As a 6 star rank 3, he just blitzes through some of these fights. And because his challenger rating is 10 higher than a maxed 5 star, it also makes it easier to finish the fight before running out of warfare charges. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon.